Revelation chapter 11 and verses 18. And the nation were angry, and thy wrath, and thy wrath is come, and the time of death that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and the seeds, and them that fear thy name. Small and great should is destroy them which destroyed the earth. First, I'd like to begin by giving all praises, all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of great wisdom that rule well, bless, and salutation to our brethren that push this with a sincerity and in truth. You know, to the true sisters who listen. In fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, we say Shalom. You know, and as the scriptures say, um, destroy them that destroy the earth. You know, and that will be the basis of this topic here, right? And who is the one that destroy or is destroying the earth right now? Right? Esau Edom. By ways of chemtrails, by the ways of um, GMO foods, you know, by, by ways of polluting the water, polluting the air, you know, polluting, you know, the, the, the Lord's people, right? Destroying the 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 ozone layer, the, the, the creating weapons to cause to basically to manipulate the weather. All right, and that is why the Lord Yahweh is going to destroy the ones that destroy the earth. All right, so we read a few destruction precepts. On the upcoming event of Esau Edom, which is also known as the Hammer of the Earth, the so called white man. Alright, this is the book of Jeremiah. I'll start from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 49, right? And verse. Um, I'll start from verse, I could start from verse 7, and I'll jump around. It says, it says concerning Edom, thus said Yahweh of hosts, is wisdom no more in Teman. His counsel perish from the prudent. Is their wisdom vanish? Flee ye back. Flee ye, turn back, dwell, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dedan, for I will bring calamity of Esau. Right? No way in GMS, we look at words, but I will go into the um, NLT first. Prophecy, Ezekiel, I mean Jeremiah. Jeremiah 49. I see this. Start from seven. Verse eight. It says, Flee, turn back, get down, low inhabitants of Dedan, for I will bring. Alright, calamity. This is the same calamity there. Now we look up that word calamity then. What does it mean? As the Lord seek will bring calamity upon Esau. Alright, and if you didn't know who's Esau, according to, this, according to the Bible, right, the most accurate book on the earth, Esau is Edom. Edom is the white man today. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Alright. When I look up the word um, calamity, it means distress, burden, right? 
burden of righteous calamity of nation disaster of wicked day of calamity the same as each 181 brand fire all right a poker it says or rake together a poker of turning or gathering embers firebrand right so basically the calamity goes back to fire and what would i bring that fire that fire would then come by the way of the lord's chariots all right the lord yabashim yashai chariot Right, it says Calam um, calamity of Edom of Esau upon him the time that I will visit and no man knows the time but with the scripture saying in the book of um, what is that? That is, um, the book of second Ezra chapter 9 measure over the time diligently within itself or is it um let's give me a second let me make sure i'm not mixing up the board scriptures all right yeah yes i was right all right so it says um it says, leave thy, um, will jump down, right? I will jump down to, I'll jump down to verse 16. It says, thy terribleness has deceived thee, and the pride of thine heart, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, right? And we know that Esau used to dwell in Mount Seir. Right, so let me look up how Mount Seir used to be. But now they dwell in way, you know, in Trinidad, they dwell in any mountains, you know, in, 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 um, in mansions, in the mountains, <laughs> you know, but all that would not be destroyed, right, for touching the Lord's apple, touching the apple of the Lord's eye, um, It says that holdest the height of the hill, though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagles, I will bring thee down. From then, say the hour, also Edom shall be a desolation. Every one that goeth by, it shall be astonished and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. Right. So the see the nations, the nations. Of the world, you know, they would have watched Esau eat them in ruins, 
right? Because why? America is a superpower, right? The world is run basically by the US dollar, the petrodollar, all right? And that's why the scripture said, I pride, you know, the pride of thine heart, you know? It says, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring cities, therefore say the Hawa, no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell therein. Right? And I just want to jump into the book of um, Obadiah, chapter 1, and I will start from verse 8. All right? This is the book of Obadiah. Obadiah only had one, one chapter. You know. But Obadiah 1 and verse 8. This book is dedicated to Esau. So, Ibadia, which means serving Yahweh. Ibadia chapter 1 verse 8, it says, Shall I not in that day, say Yahweh, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and the underst and the understanding out of Mount out of the Mount of Esau. Alright? And I was gonna actually type in what happened to ancient if ancient um Edomites were destroyed, but I ain't gonna handle them because the t Esau is a motherfucker. Alright? I'm gonna try this. Well, they the, the proper um, recording. Anyway, it says, um, And thy mighty men, O Timon, shall be dis dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Right, they say Nebuchadnezzar was the man who conquered Edom, the last person who conquered Esau Edom. That everyone wasn't destroyed, right? By slaughter, right? So we know through prophecies, through the scripture, you know, the Lord set a mark upon Cain, right? And in reincarnation, he came as Esau, right? And Esau came. And trickle down to know in these times who is Esau Edom. Esau Edom is the is the so called white race, right? Because the scripture clearly tell, tells you that in the book of um, Job nine and twenty four that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. You know, so just knowing that scripture, it, it will actually tell you. Ask yourself who who's running the earth right now, what nation of people. You see. So the Lord have something stored up for Esau Edom, which is that this year we see me on the screen, that is just part of it. Right, the next part is the chariots of the Heavenly Father. You understand? This year going on good. This year, gonna see hundreds of thousands of these. All right? It says, um, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Right? The nation of Jacob, the, the, the so called Negroes, we still going through persecution under the so called white man by ways of being, being killed by police, white police. It's still a white supremacy, white hate group. Right? That certain parts of America, like New Jersey and all these places, they go, you, you, you slip there, you, you end up dying. You'll get murdered. You see? In, in, in the time of um, Jim Crow law, all these things, Jake used to be getting put to death. Randomly, you could, you could I guess, get pulled out of the house and, 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 and kill. It was like a sport. The way he saw kill animals for a sport, that would used to kill Jake's. So he saw it. It's not coming back. 
Then I'm coming back. The Lord gonna bring a piece of judgment upon the nation of Esau. And no one can save them. You know, um in the book of Second, eh? If I can do this. It says in the book of um, Isaiah fourteen and Four it says, and thou shalt take up a proverb against the king of Babylon, and say, How had the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. Right? The oppressor is who? The oppressor is who? Esau. The how had broken the staff, which is the support of the wicked, and the scepter, which is the rulership of the rulers. Right? Accepted as being a king ham. You understand? He who, he, he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. He that ruled the nation in anger is persecuted and none hindered. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth in singing. Jumping down to verse 12, it says, How art, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nation? You understand? And that is Esau. The Lucifer speaks about the enlightened ones, the light bearers, the, the, the ones who have the knowledge, the ones who, who holds the knowledge. Of this kingdom, right? Because he's as script as Apostle Dad did that video today. You know, the word wiser than Daniel. He saw news. You understand? So he's a light bearer. Enlightened ones. You know, so hey, hopefully this video a big edifying. When you go to this thing, Bashem Yashai, Bashem Makakodash. Shalom to the elect. You know, to the sisters who listen, Shalom.